Hello guys, welcome back to Mufasu Cat with AutoCAD 3D Modeling, how to make a baby wooden walker. Okay, open your AutoCAD software and first uh, I will change into left view. You can click here left view and we create a line object. Start from this point to direct uh, active 4. Okay, move uh, to the top uh, 11. Move uh, to the left here active 4 and connect to this point. Use a uh, fillet command with uh, radius uh, 8. You can fillet uh, this corner and this corner. Next, uh, I will offset with uh, this 10 to. You can click uh, this line object, uh, move inside here, and click in this object, move uh, inside here. Okay. Correct line object, I start from this point to this point, and move for the last object uh, to the right here, uh, 9. Okay, I will create a line object, start from uh, this point to this point and start from this point to the bottom here. Okay, use a trim command to cut uh, this uh, line object. And then uh, I will create a line, start uh, from this point to the top. Move uh, the last object uh, to the left here, uh, 18. And you can copy this line object, uh, move uh, to the left for two, and enter. Okay, I will trim again this uh, line object. And then so I will delete uh, this line object. Okay, copy this uh, object into this point. Okay, I will uh, trim in here. Delete and then you can join this uh, all object. Okay, already join and next uh, I will trim here. Okay, you can uh, copy again this uh, object from this point to here and then so I will delete uh, in set object here. Can uh, delete and use a join command to join uh, this object. Next, you can move uh, this object uh, start from this point into this point. Okay, I will create a circle object uh, in here with a radius 5 and then circle again with a radius uh, 1. Okay, move uh, this to circle to the right here uh, 7 and move uh, to the top here uh, 3. Okay, use a mirror command to mirror uh, this uh, to circle object. Start from middle point in here, move to the bottom and enter. Okay, next uh, I will create circle in here with uh, radius uh, 2. Move uh, the last object uh, to the left here uh, 30. And move uh, the last object uh, to the top of 5. You can copy this uh, circle object uh, to the right here. Uh, 7 and then I will create line start from this point into this point Okay, we create circle again in here with the uh, radius 2 move uh, to the top uh, 50 and Move uh, to the left for uh, 1 Okay, use a circle command with uh, tangent click uh, this object and this object with a radius uh, 50 and I will trim this uh, circle object and delete uh, this uh, object okay use uh, offset uh, command with a distance start from this point to this point click uh, this object inset and click this object uh, inset here okay i will create circle in middle point here with the radius one and we create circle again with uh, tangent click this object and in here with the radius 10 Okay, sorry, I will uh, delete first. And we create a circle with uh, tangent. Click uh, here. And then in here with radius uh, 10. Okay, next you can use stream command to cut uh, this uh, circle object. And cut in here. Okay, I will delete uh, this object. And this object. Next, uh, you can uh, copy. Okay, copy this object, start from this point to this point. I will uh, trim 
this uh, circle object okay and then you can uh, join select uh, this object enter this already join into a polyline and move uh, these two objects start from this point into this point okay you can uh, delete uh, this object and then so I will convert uh, this uh, to this cat into 3d models you can orbit next uh, I will create line object start from this point to this point uh, 39 okay I will move uh, this uh, circle object okay this circle object into this direction uh, 0 0.5 and then you can move uh, this uh, circle into here 3 and enter okay I will uh, extrude this uh, two circle object with a three and then extrude uh, this circle object 0 0.5 and enter use a uh, file at a command with a uh, radius uh, one I will file it at this edge okay and then we file it in here we create a circle object you can click in here we create circle in here with a radius uh, 0 0.5 and extrude uh, the last object to this direction 0 0.5 and enter use a copy command to copy this uh, object start from this point into here okay you can click at this point I will uh, copy again this uh, object you can click uh, this uh, object start from uh, this point into here and then move this uh, object into this direction to and enter next uh, we extrude this uh, object into this direction to Okay, and then I will extrude uh, this object into this direction too. Next, uh, we create a circle in here. Okay, radius 2. And circle in here, radius uh, 2. Okay, circle in here, radius uh, 2. And we extrude this uh, circle object. Okay, with uh, distance 1 and enter. Okay, I will copy this circle into this uh, direction 2. And then we extrude uh, this circle with uh, 1 and enter. Okay, we already create uh, this uh, simple 3D models. You can change into a realistic view to view the object. Okay, we create uh, this model. And next, I will change again into 2D wireframe. And you can uh, use a copy command to copy this object. Start from uh, this point. Okay, into this point. And then move uh, this uh, two object with uh, this 10 to and enter. Okay, we already created uh, this uh, simple 3D model. Next, uh, I will uh, use uh, mirror command to mirror this object, but first I will change into top view. Okay, I will use a uh, mirror command to mirror uh, this uh, object. Can select this object and this uh, object. Okay, select uh, this object. And then I will select uh, this object. Okay. We mirror start from uh, middle point here to the bottom and enter. Okay, next uh, I will move uh, this uh, object uh, to this direction too. And then we extrude uh, this uh, object into this point and we create uh, this model. Okay, use uh, extrude command again. I will extrude uh, this circle into this uh, point. Okay, 
and then we correct circle in this surface with the radius uh, 1 and we extrude again the last object into this uh, point okay change into realistic view to view the object and we create uh, this uh, 3d models uh, baby wooden walker okay I will uh, give uh, material into this uh, object and then uh, we rendering okay but first I will change into top view and change into to the wireframe I will create a plan surf okay we create plan surf start from this point to here and create camera start from this point to this point exit change into left view <coughs> okay and then i will change into camera one view press uh, f7 to hide the grid and change into realistic use uh, airmat command to open a material browser okay and i will use a metal and steel use uh, this galvanic material you can click at uh, this uh, object Okay, I will click uh, this object, select uh, this object okay, in here, and then so we select uh, in here. Okay, right click in uh, material and assign to selection. Okay. Next, uh, I will use uh, wood material. You can click here wood and search uh, for a material. Okay, I will use uh, red oak. Okay, this material. Okay, with low glass. Close. You can select uh, this object. Okay, and then right click, assign to selection. Close uh, material here. And then we try to render this object. I will change the uh, face trees into 10 point to look more smooth. Okay, and next uh, you can active uh, shadow. Click here and full shadow. Use uh, high core render. And I will active environment and change uh, background into solid with uh, white uh, color okay okay and expression 9 is okay you can close and i will try to rendering this uh, object you can click here to render okay we waiting for intelligent and we waiting for our rendering process until finish it's about 10 level okay we finished rendering process and i think it's enough today for autocad 3d modeling how to make a baby wooden walker if you have any question about this uh, tutorial you can comment below this video and see you next time in another autocad 3d modeling tutorial